And today we will be decluttering, organizing, pretty much taking apart my whole closet. I'll be trying on clothes and minimizing. So if you're ready for some fashion and for some fun, hit subscribe and let's get started. of a lot of clothes over the years and I've been minimizing almost every month trying to take out pieces that I don't wear and whenever I try things on trying to get rid of clothes that don't fit anymore so we're just gonna pretty much take it apart put it all on my bed and go through pieces one by one and really really try to minimize Now you may be asking, Selena, why are you doing this right now? We're in the middle of a season, nothing's going on, and you already have another video on your other channel of you minimizing and cleaning out your closet. Well, thank God you asked. <laughs> Pretty much if you saw my other video on this channel, I talked about how I am starting a service year. It's kind of like AmeriCorps, it's kind of like the Peace Corps, but I'm doing it with Good Shepherd volunteers and I'm working for Good Shepherd services in the city. I'm super excited and it's based off the four tenets of community, social justice, spirituality, and simplicity. Simplicity is a huge thing a part of the year. We will be serving women and children in poverty and who have been through domestic violence and who have been through life's hardships. So, in order to be in solidarity with the community we serve, we're not supposed to have a plethora of stuff. And if you guys know me, I want to be as minimal as possible anyways, so this just works out. So, we're gonna finish emptying my closet, we're gonna go through my pieces, and as we go through, I'll tell you what I'm looking for. And I need to stop moving my hands too much. Let's go. <laughs> Now that that's all out of the way, let's talk strategy. First off, the hard part about living in New England or the Northeast, New York, Connecticut, wherever, is that we have four seasons. So I have all my winter clothes and my summer clothes all here. So we'll split them up into categories, obviously start with summer first because that's the season that's here, and then see if I'm missing any winter pieces. Second off, we're going to talk about my body. Not exactly like that though. I am learning what parts of me I like to accentuate, whether that be my arms, my legs, whatever. We're going to talk about how to try on clothes and really say, does this fit what I want to look like in pictures? Does this fit what I feel comfortable in? Because there's pieces that we love and are cute and yeah, they're like, super awesome but then sometimes you wear them and you're like wait a second i looked horrible in that so none of that we're going to be genuine with ourselves today and lastly we are only going to keep clothing that we wear or let me use the i pronouns i'm going to keep clothing that i wear in a two week or one month rotation there's no more like one year pieces where I wear it and it's a great day and I'm like woo I wore it once can't wait for next year no we're keeping staples only I might keep one or two formal dresses just for a nice dinner especially because I'm starting to work in like the real world but we will really really try to have items that will just be in constant rotation So the first part is just the basics. I have yellow and gray. Of course, I'm gonna keep these. I like how they're a little cropped and tighter on me. 
and the next part is a series. It's my sentimental tees. I'm an alumna from St. John's University. This shirt I usually tie up, but this is from my boyfriend. It is my favorite color. We love the Grateful Dead, and it has also like the surf logo inside, so I love this shirt. And this is just a concert tee. Shout out John Mayer. Love this shirt. Gotta keep it. Next is just like some regular tees. This is an organic cotton from the Earthling Co. Every day's Earth Day. Really simple. And again, t-shirts, just casual. That's my Volkswagen one, tie it up, very beachy. And there's my life is good one. Nice for camping, hiking. And to end the t-shirt series, that is my tie-dye tee that I just did. Um, I got it at a thrift store from Buffalo Exchange. And that is from Keep Nature Wild, which you can see in the link below. Hello! If you couldn't tell from the previous clips of me trying things on, it got really dark and now it's another day. That's pretty much it. Let's keep going. Again, we're starting with the basics. I love wrap dresses and wrap shirts. I think they look really good on me. I usually tuck this one in because it gets a little frayed at the end, but it's a nice little sparkly color and I got it from my mom's closet, so that's a good perk. This I have in two colors, yellow and green. I'm gonna get rid of the yellow, I don't need two of them, and I like green better. And you'll see in my closet I have a lot of green pieces. This next thing, my mom knitted this for me, and I love it, it's cute, but I don't know how to wear it, so comment below if you could figure it out. This is a basic I got from a thrift store in Paris. It's pretty self-explanatory, goes with everything. Clean cut, nice. Again, another Frenchy type thing, but I got this here in the States. It's nice striped, can go with any jeans, and I got it at a consignment store. I used to love this shirt, but I realized it hits me not at my waist, it hits it a little below, so I think I wanna take it up and sew it and change it. This next shirt is my favorite, super boho, super simple. Got it in a thrift store in Paris, and I wear it with everything. This I also got in Paris. I usually wear a bralette with it, but went a little scandalous today. Pretty self-explanatory, white, it goes with everything, dress it down, dress it up. Love it. Going with the sheer theme, I just bought this, I love it, I have to figure out how to wear it. If you know how, comment below, but yeah, maybe a white tank top instead? Maybe. This is actually from my mom's closet and I wore it to go out one night because I don't have party clothes. I love it, it's simple, it's black, it goes with everything, and yeah, it's nice. This again, a wraparound little sweater type thing. Looks great with my body, love the deep V. These pants I actually got from my friend recently. They're corduroy, low cut, love them, nice and clean. And the shirt I got from a consignment store, black and white, simple. This is not your average black shirt. I love the sheer puppy sleeves, button down back, got it at the store, super vintage. This I got when it was on trend, when everyone was wearing sleepwear, but now I just like the material. I like the silkiness and the color. This is, again, a staple, simple, basic green sweater with puppy sleeves. This is another green, which I think I should get rid of something green, but it's cropped, it's cute, it's tight fitting, and I can wear it casually. Except this, this is a straight cut sweater. I thought I could wear it for work, I just got it. It's okay, but I'm gonna keep it for now. This I love, again, cropped is my thing. I love the deep V, comfy, comfy material, and it's just great. Now I have two gray turtlenecks, this one and a cropped one. Gotta love the cropped, but I usually wear the cropped one with high-waisted jeans like these. I love these jeans. These are my favorite black jeans. Skinny, again, high-waisted, just making me look all curvy and such. We're getting onto bottoms. These I just tie-dyed. I got the white pants from ThreadUp and then my boyfriend and I did a tie-dye day. I love them. These pants I got from Paris. I love how they're tight fitting, get formal. I love, love, love these pants. We'll never get rid of them. These I think I'm getting rid of. They're like a weird fit. If you can tell, they're like funky, wide legs. I don't know about them. These I loved at first and they're super unique and kind of military-like, but I just don't like the way it crumples up and fits right there. I love this skirt. Riz gave it to me because she didn't wear it, but now I live in this skirt. These pants are actually from Urban Outfitters, but I got it at a thrift store. Just found them. Love how funky they look. They look like the tan ones, but they're blue. <laughs> and these ending with the pants are my 
green formal pants. They're like skinny jeans, but I can wear them to work and they're acceptable. <laughs> Moving on to skirts. This is a plain black skirt. I never wear it, but I feel like I need to wear it for work. I don't know. I, I don't really want to, but it's very plain. It's a nice material. This I actually got from Fashion Nova, unfortunately, but I really do like it. I wore it a lot when I was a waitress, and now I just kind of like this biker chic. This I actually got from ThreadUp. It's a skirt. I love the back. I bought it for the color. It's like a lavendery color. It's actually a tennis skirt but it's really comfortable to walk in and chill in. I love it. And it has pockets. This is my ballerina skirt. I love it. I'm going to keep it forever. I just dress it up, dress it down, and it's brown, so it can go with anything. On to dresses. I wore this once for my 19th birthday. I love it, but I feel like I'm never gonna wear it again. <laughs> this one is a little black dress. I love the way it's a bodycon on me. I'm gonna probably keep it. I got it from a thrift store, but it's Forever 21. This, I begged my mom to buy me, but it was so expensive. It's a nice material, super silky, gonna keep it. Another little black dress, and surprise, it's not only sheer and cute and flirty, but you can wear it to the club. I'm gonna keep it, I like black clothes and I think they'll go with everything. This I'm gonna keep, I actually wear this every day right now. It was a dollar at a flea market and I just slip it on real quick. If you know me, you know I love my overalls. I didn't try them on for you because it was really hot that day, but I'm gonna keep them forever. Going on with jean, I bought this in Paris. It's another super simple staple, but I usually wear it with a belt and dress it up and down, or sometimes I wear it with loafers or booties. However, I wanna wear it. God, I thought I love this. It reminded me of Mamma Mia. It made me so happy. I bought it in Boston with my friends, but now I need to get rid of it. It does not flatter me at all. And it's hard to take off. This I bought from ThreadUp. I love, love, love it. It's the boho queen in me. Nice deep V, so it really flatters me. Hits right at my waist. And yeah, I'm keeping this. I have two yellow dresses. Um, this one and the one you're about to see next. This one I got in Paris. It's a lot better of a material, so I'm going to keep it. It has pockets and it just fits me nicer. This is my forever dress. It's from French Connection. I love, love the little embroidered plants that you'll see soon. And the fit on me is just so vintage and cute. Last in the dresses portion, I bought this recently. It's corduroy, it reminds me of the 70s. I feel like I'm a disco queen when I wear it. And yeah, I'm super excited to wear this in the winter with some cute boots. Wow, we're almost done, guys. Thank you for making it this far. We are on to sweaters. I only have a few. It looks like a lot, but I'm only going to show you a couple. This first sweater I got from Paris. It was nice at first, but every time I kept washing it, the material kind of faded out. This I got from my boyfriend's mom. It's actually really nice material and love the colors. This I got from Riz. It's oversized and I was trying not to wear oversized sweaters, but this color is too cute and I like the material. It feels handmade. This I'm definitely going to get rid of. Um, I thought it was nice and plain, but it goes with nothing. It's like a cream color. Not my thing. And this yellow, I said before, it's my favorite color. My mom's sweater and I'm going to keep it. I like this pale kind of look. In the end, I also wanted to show you guys my jackets. I'm not going to try them all on, but those are my jackets. There you have it, guys. That is my whole closet. I think it's not as much as other YouTubers, but I definitely still have a lot of clothes. It took a while for me to try on everything, and even then I left some pieces out that I knew I absolutely do not like and want to get rid of. I think my style, I've come to realize, is very boho and I guess like I want to say eclectic. I like finding special pieces, but I'm realizing, or I've realized after watching all of this, that I have no basics. I don't have a basic white t-shirt or a basic white like blouse or black blouse or black t-shirt and tank top. So I'm going to restock on those and you'll see in the next coming months more videos of me trying on outfits, different seasons, and definitely talk about thrifting a lot more. As you guys know, my whole closet is pretty much thrifted or from consignment stores. Thanks for watching. Please, again, if you like this content, click subscribe comment, like, those alert buttons, all that fun stuff, and I will see you next week. 
Bye. <laughs>